Hello, I'm Dr. Stephen Andrew Missick, and I'd like to welcome you to this exciting new series that we're putting together, my brother Josiah and I, about the life of St. Jude Thaddeus. Now, you may have heard of St. Jude through St. Jude's Children's Hospital in Memphis, or, or seen pictures of St. Jude, or heard about him as the, the saint of lost and desperate causes, but uh, who is St. Jude? Now, St. Jude, Thaddeus, is one of the twelve apostles of Jesus Christ. And according to tradition, he carried the gospel to the regions of the east and preached the gospel to the Assyrians, and the Armenians, and the people of Mesopotamia. When we see a world of confusion and chaos, it's important for us to return to the message, the positive message of love, mercy, and compassion taught by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. In this series, I want to look at the life of St. Jude. And uh, in this program, we're going to look at the iconography of Jude. And it's about the face of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. If you see St. Jude, he's often seen, he's portrayed with the face of Jesus. And we need to have the face of Jesus Christ to shine upon us. We need to open our hearts and receive him. And often we see Jude holding the image of the face of Jesus, the holy face, close to his heart. And that tells us that we need to open our hearts and receive the love of Jesus Christ into our heart and our innermost being. Now the basis for this tradition is that there's an Assyrian king named Abgar who requested that St. Jude Thaddeus would come and explain to him the message, the good news of Jesus Christ. And also this king was very sick and uh, he prayed for a divine healing. And St. Jude Thaddeus prayed for him and the king was, this is King Abgar of Edessa, the king was healed and then he was converted and he commanded St. Jude Thaddeus to preach his gospel, the gospel of Jesus Christ throughout all of his kingdom. Now, there's a lot of mystery and speculation about this face of Jesus, and some people believe that what happened is we have the shroud, which is preserved in in uh, Turin, Italy, the so-called Shroud of Turin. Perhaps this is the actual burial cloth of Jesus Christ, and uh, what happened to it is that it was carried by St. Jude Thaddeus, displayed to King Abgar, kept in Edessa as the holy image of Edessa, where later on it was raided by the Byzantines, and then thereafter by the Crusaders, and carried to Turin, Italy, where it resides today. And this is actually the actual blood-stained image upon the shroud. That's what some people believe. I think it's a very compelling argument for that. Uh, but the important thing is, and I think a very special thing about the shroud, whether it's authentic or not, is it displays how Jesus Christ suffered on the cross for our sins. And we need to reflect on the price paid, what Jesus did to redeem the world, and how he gave his life and shed his blood. The Bible says that without the shedding of blood, there's no remission of sin, no forgiveness of sins. So Jesus paid that price, and with his shed blood, he died, he rose again, and he provides salvation to everyone. It says in John 3, 16, that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. I want to ask that you join us on following programs uh, so you can continue to be blessed and edified by the, the message of St. Jude Thaddeus. Now we have the, the Holy Gospels, the Acts, the Apostles, and the Epistles, but the early church fathers and ancient historians preserved a lot of information about the further Acts, the Apostles, and we have a lot of traditions about St. Jude Thaddeus in particular. So. I uh, hope that you join us in further programs uh, on this series, St. Jude Thaddeus, the Apostle, the Impossible, and join us in seeking the face of God. I have programs on this channel, but I have my Dr. Stephen Andrew Missick Aramaic 12 channel, and I have St. Jude Thaddeus videos there if you want to check them out. So hopefully you can join us again as we dig into the scriptures and to the traditions of the early church fathers and discover St. Jude Thaddeus and his impact on the world. 
So thank you so much and God bless you.